Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory. This time we are talking about the analog input pins of the Arduino. Well, the analog input pins of the Arduino, they are located at the, let's call it bottom. Yeah? They are marked with A0 to A5. Okay. And we know our analog outputs. We said this is not really, this is not really analog. Uh, there is this pulse width modulation, so we turn it very fast on and off, rather fast on and off, yeah? but we only switch between 0 and 5 volts. The analog input things are really analog digital converters in our Arduino. Yeah? Now I just want to tell you how an analog digital converter is working. Okay? This is the reason for this video. So we're talking about analog digital converter. Uh, our Arduino does have a so-called 10-bit analog digital converter, whatever this means. Yeah? So we have an input range between 0 volts and some reference voltage. The reference voltage is usually default. Default it is 5 volts. If we do nothing else, then we have on our Arduino Uno we have 5 volts reference voltage. Yeah? So we can select something something between 0 and 5 volt. There's a special command and a special input pin, it's called a ref, yeah? where we can select a value also between 0 and 5 volts. Yeah? So this upper uh, level this is not fixed, but the maximum and default value is 5 volt. Okay? So, what is done by analog digital converter? Analog digital converter, I'm asking the analog digital converter with a command, and this is analog read. And then there is the pin number. The pin number is something between 0 and 5, because it's 6 analog input pins. Yeah? And the return value of this analog read command is some number. What does it mean, this number? Well, if the input is within a range between 0 and a certain value, yeah? the number is 0. Yeah? So we have here the number is 0 which I'm getting back of this analog read. If we have then in the next area, which is of the same broad, yeah? so it's the, it's the next class simply, yeah? so we're dividing this total range into classes, equally spaced classes, yeah? then you know, the next one would be then value number one. Yeah? And the next class, yeah? Same size again, would be then value number 2, and so on. Okay? So every new class, the input voltage is in, we get a higher number. And how does it look like at the top? So here, the gray one, here we have one last class. Here we have the class before the last class. What is the maximum number? What value do we have got here? This is the maximum, the maximum value. This is one below the maximum value. And the first set, our Arduino, is having a so-called resolution, uh, resolution. Resolution gives in how many classes we are dividing this total range. Uh, and the resolution of our Arduino is called 10 bit. What does it mean? We're getting out a 10 bit number. Okay. And with a 10-bit number, 10 binary digits, yeah, we can display a number up to 2 raised by the power of 10 
and these are 1024 different classes. So we are dividing this in 1024 different classes. The first class is zero, so the last class is 1023. Okay, this is 1022, and we're going down. So we are dividing these five volts into 1024 different classes. What does it mean? If you divide this 5 volt divided by 1024, I'm again searching for my, for my calculator. Yeah. Luckily, I know it by the top of my head, but this is around 4, you can try it with your calculator, it's 4.88 millivolts. Yeah. So every 4. Dot, each class is a press rod of 4.88 millivolts. Yeah. Every in the first 4.88 millivolts, we are getting zero. Then from 4.88 to 9. Dot, ba, 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 we have one huh? and so on. Huh? Is this now high? No, this resolution is not really high. Huh? A standard industry standard analog digital converter is 12 bits. Huh? I'll write this down. Standard industry standard. Twelve bit. This means two raised by the power of twelve, and this is four thousand ninety six. This is this is you know the common the common one, yeah. or higher. Yeah. So it is not industry grade our Arduino, but this is not our our assumption, right? What we expect, yeah. But we can read in analog values with a real analog digital converter and get out here values between 0 and 1023. This is basically how an analog digital converter is working. Get in a value and the result is a number reflecting the value. From 0 up to the maximum resolution. Next time we will see this in an application. Okay. So next time we are reading really something in practically. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.